so it looked fantastic because everything's interactive, you're not just relying on speakers, there's lots of hands-on events and the students get to speak to current undergrads and postgrads. The best part of seeing them get interactive with each other, making friends from other other colleges. When you explain to the students how the science works and um, when you see them actually interested in what we do, that's the, the most rewarding thing about the day. Rare Disease Day is uh, an international day to raise awareness about rare diseases, which are a very important issue because even though each disease is rare, affecting fewer than one in 2,000 people, there are six to 7,000 rare diseases. And altogether affect 6% of the population and take 20% of the health budget. So rare disease day is very important for us because SMA is a rare disease and it's difficult to break through the barriers of all the supporters that we have currently. Uh, and of course we need funds to fund this research, research is expensive, so the wider our net then the more income we can generate. So, so in terms of that alone, um, rare disease day is very important to us. interact with students and tell them about um, where disease is and um, university life and everything that they want to know more about what we do as scientists and I think that's the best interest to them to lead them up to a science career or um, degree. We've been attending the event at the Royal Holloway since I've been around since the last four years I've come in a row here and we came before that. Um, it's ideal for our year 12 students because obviously what they're doing here, the work they're doing here on genetics, partially uh, copies what we're doing in our specifications. So it helps in advance their knowledge of the specification, it's stretching them. Um, it's much more deep than what we'd normally do at school. So it gives them a sort of like a feel for the, you know, what they've learned at basic level at a higher level. So in that way, it's, it's sort of really beneficial for them. I think Royal Holloway has a natural affinity with this sort of research. It's something to do with, with the background of the university uh, and its culture. It's, it's got the right sort of scale. It's, it's a small university where uh, a problem such as rare diseases can be made a priority within, within our academic staff. In many, in many larger research activities, I think there is a, there's an economic focus on attending to the more mainstream problems. Uh, because research, to some extent, becomes, becomes a bit of a business. Whereas here, we have a culture of dealing with issues which are very um, specific to, to small groups of people. We champion minorities and our staff, and we have fabulous staff, and that's the key thing, our staff want to put this at the top of their agenda and the university can get behind them and give them the resources to do so.